Hello, and welcome to Making Waves by Totterbert. In front of us, we have the Vigor Time Do It Yourself Solderless Bluetooth Speaker Stem Kit. You can find the selling on Amazon USA for $15.99. Might need a coupon bringing the price down to $13.59. Rock on. A product for all ages. Let's check it out. Figure time. Fun project, fun time. That rhymed. <laughs> Build your own stem kit. Cool. Nice little box art. There you are. All right. Let's open it up. See what we get in the box. All right. I love these instruction manuals by Figure Time. They're awesome. We'll go over that in a second. Got some parts. I guess I will lay out a little board here so we can see what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna empty the contents out here. Let's see what we get. Get a bag of goodies. We get the circuit board, switch, bunch of mounting hardware, and the battery bay. Looks like it takes four double A's. That's pretty much the electronics. Nice. We get a handy dandy Phillips screwdriver. Okay, if you don't own one, you got one now. Sweet. It's cool they included that. We get the case. So we got a bunch of pieces of acrylic. It looks like it's blue and yellow. I like yellow. You guys know it. <laughs> so that's neat. And uh, yeah, it's going to take a little time. I'll probably test the speaker system out, make sure it works. And then I'll probably pause and come back and have it assembled. Because you're not going to want to watch me putting screws in. This looks pretty straightforward. So, And then the speakers are pre-wired, which is nice. And they have little jumpers there. Just plug it right into the board. So again, there's no soldering required. There you go, two inch speakers. You get two of them for stereo, I hope. We'll have to see what they kind of sit close together in that case. So I'm not sure what kind of system we're gonna get there, but let's get a little dust on that speaker. But yeah, you get two speakers and that's it. You're ready to rock. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. And put this aside. Right, let's see. Okay, so we just uh wow strong magnets stick into everything here. That's awesome. Dust this guy out. So yeah, this is a neat little project. Now I've been looking on Amazon, they have a ton of them. They have like a an owl that glows and stuff with rechargeable lithium batteries, but I kinda like the idea that it takes double A's because I'm kind of getting away from the lithium thing because I got too many things with lithium batteries in it. It kind of makes me nervous. So this is nice that it uses double A's. And you can use nickel metal hydride in this as well. They do recommend that in the instructions. So let's look at those real quick. Then we'll do a, a quick assembly of the speakers to the board and make sure it works. So let's see here. That's the first time I've opened it up. So, okay. You can pause and read that if you'd like. It's kind of giving you an overview. Kind of build materials. There you go. Cool. Comes with a lot of stuff for the money. Schematic diagram. See, I love these instructions. They're amazing. You don't have to hit a QR code. You don't have to look at anything. You got it right in your hands. No messing around. Installation steps to give you the idea. I mean, I think the longest part is going to be assembling the box and putting all the screws in. So that's the fun part. Hands on. That's why you're doing this, you know. Yeah, you got to switch here. And then you got to put the speakers in. They show this, and then they show you uh, pre-testing as well, putting the battery bay on the back. All right, and then there's the board. This for posterity, because in case you lose your instructions, you got them here in this video. And then they're showing it there, wired up and ready to rock. Now, I'm hoping I can do that live here while I'm filming. If not, I'll just pause and come back to it. Finished. That's the way to do it. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. They have a peel and stick to a little PCB there. You know, pretty basic stuff. So, and be careful not to pull on the wires. That makes sense because you'll just disconnect what you're already connected. And there you go. I'll show you how to put it together. And congratulations, you've just built your own Bluetooth speaker. Okay. <laughs> see how this goes here. So, I'll give you some pro tips. And they do have a QR code here for more STEM kits. Sweet. I think they have an email too if you run into any trouble. You can also write in the comments section if you do. But there you go, that's it. Let's get that out of the way. I think I can figure it out by just looking at the board. So I'm gonna put that aside. We're gonna keep the speakers out, even though they're like crazy magnets here. <laughs> All right, let's go and open this bag up. Get our stuff out. All right, what we got here with the battery bay, that's important. Uh, let's see, those are standoffs, let's throw those aside. 
Let's get to what we need. Those are all the mounting hardware. We're just going to toss that aside too. So here's our battery base. We're going to connect. Uh, maybe not. We'll wait to connect the batteries because these are like, you touch those together, you get a little spark. We don't want that. So let's wait before we do that. Let's take a look at this board and the power switch. All right, cool. One thing I noticed it didn't have is a volume control. I might be missing it, but I don't see it. I don't think there's one here. Okay, that looks like for the battery. Cool. Let me get the power switch. Power switch. All right. That's going to run in line with this. Yep, that makes sense, right? I'm not even using the instructions. I'm just going to wing it here. <laughs> Let's go zoom this back down here. Get up close and personal as we build this. All right. Like I said, we're just going to do a test run here. Hopefully this goes pretty quick. So here's our board. Going to zoom in. There you go. You get the antenna for the Bluetooth. You got the chip right there, an oscillator. Got a big capacitor there. Nice. It looks like a Class D amplifier. I think what they said in the instructions there. I'm trying to see if I can zoom in. You guys can read those numbers. I think it's upside down, but you get the idea, right? They're there. Okay. So you got power, which I'm guessing is the red one. Looks pretty straightforward, right? And you got two speaker. I'm guessing is the white ones. Yeah. So it looks pretty straightforward. I don't think you can really mess this up. Just no clarity on stuff if you have to. Oh, here we go. On the back, it's labeled. All right. <laughs> There's polarity. So if you're wondering, cool. So let's go ahead and just plug stuff in. That easy, right? So we will plug in the power setup first, I think. So I'm guessing this guy goes right into here. So we got to make sure you align it. You can see the small and you get the little. It can only go in one way, so don't force anything. And then we'll just plug this in here. Okay, locked in. And then we got the two speakers, which we're going to wait. We're still going to hook this up. So we have red to red, so this looks pretty straightforward here. So we'll just plug this into here. Doing this on camera. Okay, nice tight fit there. Oh, no. Okay, so if you have uh, access to some electrical tape, you might just want to tape that joint. So it doesn't come apart or expose the connection. It'd be wise since they don't fit super snug because they do slide a little bit. All right, so let's go to the battery bay and hook up the positive lead. And then we'll load this thing with batteries and get it going here in a second. Let's, uh, I guess, do our negative lead to the board. Yeah, trying to line this up on camera. Just a little pin. There we go. And then finish up our switch. Power. Again, this is just to test the board, and then I'll probably go with the black frame and then have it pre-built. So, man, if you want to fast forward, just fast forward. All right. Okay, so that is the battery bay. I'll wait to put batteries in it. We still have to hook up the speakers, so fun times. This looks like a crazy wire mess, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Come on, dude. It's crazy. All right, you know what? Let's do it that way. And... Let's look up the speakers. Yeah, they're gonna slam and grab stuff. Okay, so we gotta line this up. Okay, look at that. Yeah, I'm looking through the lens here. About to click in, nice. Okay, the next speaker. Okay, looking at the end there, looking at where we gotta plug it in. Looks pretty straightforward. Kind of wiggle it side by side there. There you go, done. So that's pretty much the three connections you're going to make to the board. And then you're going to get some double-sided tape, which they include right here. And you're going to put that little circle on the back here and then stick it to the inside of the case as they showed in the instructions. That's going to be it with that. I mean, it's that straightforward. Now we're going to load this with batteries. And we'll do a little sound test. See if this thing fires up. This is I never did this before, so I'm winging it. Got my AA batteries over at the side here. Let's load it up. All right, almost 10 minutes in here. But at least we got it uh, together, even though it's not in a case. You know, you could do a custom case too. You, know, you don't have to use theirs, but I mean, they went through a lot of effort making that plastic enclosure. But you could also, you know, do it, do it yourself and put it in something else. I think that's kind of neat. All right, so I don't know if that switches. Ah, no, it's off, okay, good. All right, so 
I have my phone off to the right here. Or actually left. My left. All right. Get this out of the way. And we'll do a little demo here. See if anything happens. Okay, so we are going to... I don't know how loud this is going to be. So let's see. Turn it on. Okay, they said it would beep like that. And now, yeah, the phone is off to the side here. We're going to unlock it. And we're going to bring down the Bluetooth menu. Press and hold. And now we're going to add or pair new device. So let's see here. We got the bigger time. Press that. And it's going to ask if, if I want to allow it to connect to other stuff. Nope. Let's just pair it. Let's show you. Pair. Okay. Done. Okay, and then I have some royalty for music I'm going to play. Let's see if it plays it. All right. Okay, get the idea. It works! Sweet! So, it's all pretty straightforward. Now we just gotta build the case and put it together. So I'm gonna pause here and come back with it fully assembled and uh, let you know how that process went. We'll do a quick little demo again and then give you final thoughts on this project. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, and we're finished putting it together. Let's go to dimensions. We're five and five eighths of an inch in length, three inches high, and a depth of two and five eighths of an inch. Size comparison. I always bring out some radios. We got a CC pocket in the house. Give you an idea for size. It's a pretty chunky setup. Yeah, I like it. I like the yellow and blue combo. Nice. And then we have Skywave 2 C crane. Give you an idea. And then if you don't have those two radios, we have a deck of cards always. Iron Man! He's the man with the Esther plan! He loves Bluetooth speakers from Vigor Time Land. He's Iron Man, who loves do-it-yourself kits, man. You get the idea, right? Take cards. Awesome. All right, so yeah, the hardest part putting this together was peeling off all the protective stickers. <laughs> that took the longest. Putting the screws in were pretty quick. I liked it. A little flex on the front panel, but otherwise, it went together real easy. Instructions were really nice, so let's go ahead and demo this. Uh, turn it on. Now it's a little loud. I apologize because there's no volume control on this whatsoever, just on off. So I'll cover the speakers a little bit. Okay, beeping. All right. The tone. Okay, so I got my phone here. I can play.
we go. Awesome. Someone's got to turn that off. All right. So that, yeah, sounds good. Um, you know, it's more of a project. You can sit there and you can use once in a while if you want to. There will be a way you could probably uh, do some more work. You could hook up your own maybe DC uh, supply of six volts to the radio. You might even possibly be able to do a lithium power uh, if you're so inclined. You may have to install a special charging board and things. But there's a lot of projects you can do with this. You don't have to leave it as it sits, but you could as well. But as time goes on, you're able to do other things with it. So that is nice that you're able to do that. So rocking. I like it. So let's go over likes, uh, wants, and my overall opinion. Uh, likes, I like the easy to build factor. Uh, yeah, it went together really fast. Uh, you saw how quick it was. Uh, included screwdriver. Hey, never can say anything bad about that. This is I used this. It was fine. Worked great. No issue. Uh, you were left over with a, a, I had a extra nut and an extra screw, so that's good in case you lose one. Uh, they included that. I don't know if that's for all the kits, but mine had it extra, so bonus. Uh, so also I like about it, the, yeah, the instructions I mentioned that I think I did, but here they are again. Yeah, you can't get any better than this. Clearly uh, worded. There's no like, you know, crazy translation errors. So just loving it. Uh, clear illustration. So. Yeah, it was really easy to just follow the tips here. I found the best way to put the switch in was at one angle first and snap the other side in. Don't try to push those tabs in. They're super hard. So just one side switch in, other side snap it in. Real easy. And uh, this was pretty simple here. I think the only issue I had was the rubber spacers. They have little inserts. Just stretch the rubber spacer and the insert will fall out. So if yours still has a little centerpiece in there, that's the easiest way to get it out. And yeah, that was about it. Nice instructions. Straightforward. Yeah. Cool. So, liking those. Uh, wants. What do I want on this thing? Well, I would like an auxiliary inject. That'd be kind of cool, you know, for devices that aren't Bluetooth. Because uh, you pretty much have an amplified speaker here. So, that's a pretty neat setup. Uh, volume control would be nice. Dedicated on this device by itself. So, if you're by your speakers, you can adjust the volume versus the... Uh, phone or whatever you're using for your Bluetooth send. So that's one thing I would like to see. Uh, overall, it's a fun kit for a decent price. I give it a recommended buy at a $13 price point. When you get to $15.99, there's a lot of choices there. So if you're searching Amazon for do-it-yourself Bluetooth kits, you'll see there's quite a few STEM kits out there in this space. And a lot of them are kind of cool. Like there's an owl with with a glowing backplate where you can like customize your name on it, you know, who built it. I thought that was kind of cool. And speakers for the eyes. I thought that was just unique and fun. But it was woodcraft. So this looks like it'll last a lot longer, being all acrylic. But uh, the woodcraft is kind of fun. And that one came with a lithium battery, which is nice because it's rechargeable. Uh, here, you, you might want to use you know, rechargeable AA's. I just have alkalines in mind. But something to think about. But there you are. I give it a recommended buy. Awesome. Figure time kits are great. If you want to see more, subscribe to the bell icon. And of course, comment down below. What do you think about the Vigor Time do-it-yourself solderless Bluetooth stem kit? Uh, is this something you want to put together and show off? Or teach some youngster uh, what's going on with circuits and how they work? Uh, I think it's rather nice for the money. You get quite a cool thing when you're done. So let me know what you guys think. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next awesome video.